Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. Time to pick apart what I have in my pocket on a Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. <laughs> it's June 23rd. Man, we are rushing through June. Um, June 23rd, 2017, man, oh man, as you get older, time flies, trust me. Time to take a look at what we have in the pockets. Today, it's Friday, I can't wait to leave, I have my Apple Watch. <laughs> of course, every time someone, someone has a Friday meeting, I don't know, there should be a law about having Friday meetings. And I'm just not, I'll be there in person. They'll think I'm listening. I'll nod every now and then, but I'm checking my watch for you guys, <laughs> for my Instagrams and my emails. <laughs> oh man, it is the Apple Watch. That's the Apple Watch 1. I don't have the Apple Watch 2. Ah, oh, hold on. I know you didn't see it. It's a Monte Cristo. I think I say it every time I have one of my Monte Cristos. Uh, Monte Cristo and Cohiba, first two Cuban cigars I've ever smoked. And I just love this Monte Cristo. Ugh. It's Friday. I was thinking about a longer smoke to celebrate the end of Friday. But, man, I love this Monte Cristo. Some blended scotch and my Shone Design Pen, the full tie version. And one of my flat um, coach wallets. The coin for today is a Chinese, I don't know, I guess I'm going to have to stop doing this because they used to do just lock in nice uh, Chinese panda coin. Um, from 2000. I have a blue word notepad. I really do like the field guides, you guys. I mean, the field notes. I really do. It's just word has all different colors, and every now and then I need the different colors. And today, I did blue before, didn't I? I did not too long ago. Hey, Kevin. Um, I'm doing blue again. I think it was probably even last Friday, but it wasn't this matchup. I really love this matchup. It is so small. It's not what I started with, but man, is it what I ended with. Um, I really like this carry. It's Friday. I'm going to stop at my favorite Irish pub. The owner's so great. Uh, so by the time I get home, I'll be flopping around and I like a light carry especially with the hot 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 days close to 90 degrees on the east coast of the U.S. so um, I just love this <laughs> carry even the knife that got away from my big knife the one that started this that I decided not to carry was still a smaller knife um, yeah I, I highlighted the uh, Spydeco crickets with the uh, Nascision handles on the knife of the day. I think it was yesterday or the day before. So go check that out. There's a playlist of all of those, about 115 different uh, knives as we work through my uh, collection, one knife at a time, one day at a time. It'll take about a year, but I really love it. It's classy. Of course, this is discontinued. Um, it was a sprint run. Uh, Glass fibers weaved into the decision pattern that you see. It's smooth because it has like a plexiglass covering on it. And of course, with the cricket, with that reverse S, that bigger, that big belly makes it a real nice EDC knife. It really does. The tip is pointy but thick enough that it doesn't, it can be used. Ah. Oh. 
I love the forward choil even on a small knife like this. VG10 steel, 1.9 inch blade, but you got a minus that that 50% of the blade, uh, the 50% of the choil that's blade. So it's about 1.6 ounces, I mean 1.6 inches, but really a nice knife. 4.6 altogether. This is a small knife, 1.7 ounces, but man, it feels so great. It looks unbelievable. I use this as my keychain knife, see through construction, little clip. A lot of people I know take the clips off. Of course, this is a keychain knife for me, so the clip doesn't matter. And a lot of people use these as a money clip, perfect for money clips. Oh man, this is a beautiful one with that blue incision. Everything's blue. All of these are some of my favorite knives. You guys know the Rango, the Spyderco Rango is one of my favorite knives. Now, I've had comments of people going, I love the Varango, but it's very expensive. I know. For some folks it is, but personally, I think it's worth the cost. <laughs> you know, it's a small knife, but man, is it a beaut. It really is. It has that Tanto blade. It's kind of like that regrind kind of look. I love that because with the Tanto, it's... It's big enough. It gives you another edge. And then you have this. And you've got it like regrind where it pulls stuff to you when you're cutting string or whatever. It's just a wonderful knife. S30V steel. 2.5 inches. So it's smaller than that 3 inch. 2.5 inches. About, you know, almost all of it. 2.3 inches is all the edge. Hollow ground, you know, um, I like it because, yes, it's a gentleman's folder, but that blade makes it so much more. It really does. There's a lot packed in here. S30V, which is great steel, and then the titanium handle. Carbon fiber as an inset right here. So he's got carbon carbon fiber as the inlay and all of this is titanium and how they do the blue on this first the blue is just striking and so they do the blue which is striking um, the back is also blue titanium you don't see any separation at all um, <laughs> it's it's just beautiful and then they they anodize it beautiful blue, that striking blue. And then, like on the edges, they have it like gray. Just a wonderful job, really taking their attention to detail. Look, all blue on the back spacer, blue on the back part of the lanyard hole. But when you turn it, they've got it gray or black. Just so well done. As you can see, it's a liner lock, easy to get to, although it's f really flush to the two sides. It's very easy to get in, even with my fat fingers. The clip is four, no, no, two-way, two-way because of how the uh, bottom works. So it's left hand, right hand, tip down only. But just a wonderful knife. I, I, I'm in love with the Varengo. I really am. 3.4 ounces is all it is. It's a small carry and really a light carry. And then the memory. You know, Cinta Fonte, uh, Sal Glasser really designed this using the Cinta Fonte a pattern of some of the older ones. Frank Centafonte has been a collab was a collaborator with Spyderco for so long. He passed away and they released this version of one of his knives that echoes back to one of the originals. And it's just beautiful. Again, a beautiful blue titanium handle with an inlet, I mean inlay, that had carbon fiber 
This has glass fibers weaved into a different pattern under plexiglass. So you're not feeling that. It's just glass and smoothie. You're not feeling the fibers. Look how beautiful it is. Just nice. And I love how that gray and white really sets it off. Look at the backspace. That's like from the original knife as well from decades ago. The collaboration with uh, Frank Sintafonte. And then at the back, another salute to the original where you have everything going on in the front, right? And even in the back, you know, I mean, on the rib with the backspacer. But look at that, just plain titanium with that blue. You know, back in the earlier designs, a lot of spiticles in the earlier days didn't have a lot going on on the back of the clip. When you look at an original, um, I haven't done the original as the knife of the day yet, but I will. But the original Spydecos, same thing. You know, they'll have like uh, um, all kinds of FRN scales on the front and it has a liner lock, the originals, and on the back, nothing. And the reason is it wouldn't catch or wear down your pocket. You know, it's on the side of the clip. So you don't have all that stuff tugging at you. Oh, man. What a beautiful knife. What a beautiful three. That's why I work. <laughs> it's Friday. It's not a payday Friday, but it's still Friday. I like to have in my pocket why I went through the crap I went through this week. Um, for the good life. It's not just knives. It's just nice. Again, the Spydeco Memory VG10 Steel, full flat ground. Oh man, with the top, with the, of course, the glass fiber inlay and that beautiful blue. <laughs> three inch blade, whoops, sorry, three inch blade, 7.1 inches in total length. 3.4 ounces. This is a very light and very classy carry. Just very classy. That's, that's a gentleman's folder carry, basically. All in different sizes. Oh, I like that. I was thinking about this as the larger carry. Yeah, it's that Spyderco Domino without the crappy... <laughs> scales this is the blue scales carbon fiber on top of g10 you know it has that 3.1 inch blade the classic spidaco shape um made from cts xhp steel just a good steel jimping going up to the spidical hole, jimping on the 50-50 forward choil to let you choke up. Flips like a dream, too. It really flips like a dream. Just nice. The clip, four-way clip, up, down, left or right clip. Titanium back with the Chris Reeve integral frame lock and a uh, stainless steel insert. People put those in. Spyderco put them in on a lot of their flippers as well, but a lot of people do, and that's because if it was just titanium on the lock bar, over time, steel wears down titanium and it'll start drifting. Just a nice flipper. Really wonderful. You know, we're talking about a tenth bigger a lot wider though, and I think I went with this because it's a slimmer profile than the wider flipper. Yeah, it's an all spotico carry today, but I like it. And it's not because I'm blue, it's because I'm feeling good. And those knives for some reason, starting with this one, that blue just said, carry me, Kevin. So I am. There you have it. That's the pocket dump deconstruction for today. I hope you're having a perfect day. I really do. Hey, it's all right to be selfish for a couple of minutes a day. You should do that. It'd just be a better you, trust me. 
took me way too long to start doing that 45 years 50 years until I if I would have done it earlier you you'd hear patter of five grandkids running around why I did the pocket dump deconstruction it just makes you a better better friend husband father wife whatever you guys have a perfect day keep keep those pockets full doesn't have to be a heavy carry but keep them full you have a good one goodbye